Hello and what's up Madlang people? It's been a while that I haven't posted a video for you guys. Uh, today I'll be um, doing like a review and hopefully a demo of this one. It's Boss VE2 Vocal Harmonist. This is lent to me by uh, Becca. I'm happy that uh, she let me try this one. And by the way, uh, we will be using this um, on her channel mostly. So if you want to hear how this one sounds, uh, check out her channel. Uh, we did a cover of If Only by Ravina and we used this one. Right, um, first things first. This pedal is mostly for singers and if you're a singer and a guitarist then this one will really suit you. Um, you need to know lots of things first before buying this uh, product. First is when you buy this, doesn't have a power supply, can be powered by batteries and then the USB uh, cable is not included um, so you need to buy that one but if you got an old printer the lead for uh, the USB cable for your printer can be used for this one um, what else right um, you need two uh, microphone XLR wires so one is for your mic in so microphone goes here and then microphone uh, lead going to your amp or speaker system which is again XLR okay and then it's got so I'll probably gonna put a photo of this one so that it's more clearer but this is where you plug your guitar so guitar in and then guitar through so your guitar will come out it won't uh, affect the sound uh, here because it's just going in and through so um, the only purpose of this one for the guitar is for the auto harmony um, or auto harmonist so when you press that one it will detect what chords is the guitar playing and then it will create a harmony based on the chords that the guitarist is playing and then uh, so you got the volume for your mic yeah this one it's difficult that's it so max mean then this is your earphones if you want to monitor your sound it can serve as line out as well although there's a usb here out well um if you got a macbook you can try this one out and um record directly we haven't tried it um but probably it will work with garage band i'm not sure yet this one is for your foot switch for variation or your memory so you need to buy that separately uh, this is for the power adapter and there's a power button here uh, ground lift this one most of the XLR um, like your uh, DI box got a, got a ground lift to avoid um, unnecessary noise and then the other one is your phantom power yeah so if you got a condenser microphone plug in you can uh, power it using this one the phantom power okay i hope i didn't miss anything there and then this is the bottom part where the battery compartment is so you just uh, there you just press this down and then open i'll show you a photo There it is, uh, that's uh, the battery compartment. Now at the front, there you go, 
we got echo and with this one there's three options one is reverb and then you got reverb and delay and then the last bit is delay you can't tweak it uh, like how many so time and rate it's because um, it's pre-selected so the more you turn the knob the more reverb and then when it pass the reverb area goes to the reverb and delay you just turn the knob as well it just increases the reverb and the delay and then you get the delay itself here okay next is balance you got um, direct and then HRM I don't know what that stands for so now it's uh, maybe it's a dry and wet signal for your reverb and then the type so it's going to your right that side those lights there when it's on the center means it's natural so if you press this one to your harmonist let's turn it on so that you sort of get the idea there we go it's amber meaning the uh, reverb is on when it turns blue the harmonist is on so this is the center meaning it's just duplicate your voice for the harmonist it's on the natural position put that one it's the third i think that's the fifth and then that one is the octave and then if you go down that is a lower voice uh, third fifth lower voice so it's more of a male um, and then that's your octave lower okay guys so let's try and set this one up um let's put the power on okay i just recently discovered that there's like a bypass mode so if you press and hold for two seconds there it's bypass meaning uh, the frequency or the sound is going straight to the amp and then you can set up your amp without being affected by this um, gadget the other thing that i wanted to try is if it will work directly to our um, recording software which is energy xt so let's try um, if it's gonna be detected so this is the usb port I'm gonna connect this usb and then let's turn it on there so it's connected this one okay let's just wait till it's ready there we go the um, device is ready right we probably gonna close this so that it will refresh okay let's see um file setup yeah it's here so it's an a ASIO and it's here VE2 there we go input output okay so I also connected my condenser microphone to the VE2 vocal harmony vocal harmonist then we've got the phantom power there we'll turn it on yeah it's on now and we'll try to record uh, this one I can hear it through the monitor here earphones 
Uh, go. That one. Um, let's try. Okay, guys. So let's try and record something. Um, so test mic. Uh, this is a dry signal. No, no reverb or echo. We'll put some echo. Here we go. Sound. There you go. And then we'll try and uh, listen to the playback for our recording. Here we are. Test mic. Uh, this is a dry signal. No, no reverb or echo. We'll put some echo. Here we go. Sound. There you go. And then we'll try and uh, listen to the playback for our recording. Right, so that's really interesting because um, um, our monitor is also coming from uh, the boss. Um, it's also from here. So even though it's being played back from the uh, laptop, but um, it's coming out from the boss harmonist. So it's really like a proper DAW. Um, cool. Right, let's try and record some um, demo or sample audio for this one. So there we go. Um, the enhance is off, enhance on, then the green one, and back again to off. Uh, this one, uh, the, the echo is activated. Um, you can do bypass by press and hold. There, it's bypass, there's no echo. There's no um, alteration to the signal or sound. And back again. So this is the reverb. Sound, 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 sound. Then past that area, there's a reverb and delay. Sound, 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 sound. And then just the delay, 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 delay. Okay, okay. Back we go. Sound check, sound, sound. Okay. So, if we press the harmonist, it will turn blue. And then this is the neutral position. If you put that one, there's a harmony now. That it's a third harmony, I think. Sound. So kiss me and smile for me. I'm singing in the key of E. So I I'm leaving. On a jet plane Don't know when I'll be back again Oh babe, I hate to go I'm leaving on a jet plane And by the way, this one um, is the balance So Sound, 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 it disappears, isn't it? And then, the more you turn the knob, sound, 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 sound check, sound. So, it's just um, a balance between the harmony, sorry, balance between the harmony and your uh, direct signal. Okay. Um, there's lots to fiddle about with this um, gadget. So, let's try the guitar. Plug the guitar in. There we go. The harmonist um, immediately turned red, but you can turn it off if you like. It's just automatic, it detected the guitar. So, when you're using the, when you're using the harmonist, um, it won't come out in your monitor here. It's just detecting the chords that you're playing, but it will not come out um, through the monitor. Okay. Um, at the moment, because I'm using a condenser mic and I'm using an acoustic guitar, so it can be picked up and recorded via my uh, phone. But technically, it just go in and there's an out there.
the through okay let's try so the key here is deactivated it's now auto harmonist that I'm um, detecting the chords I'll be doing so blue so that the harmony okay so kiss me and smile for me tell me that you wait for me hold me like you never let me go I'm leaving on a jet plane this one is the lower register and the high register together leaving on a jet plane don't know when I'll be back again Oh babe, I hate to go It's difficult, isn't it? The lower register is like this, it sounds like this Sound, sound, sound Leaving on a jet plane And the other one Leaving on a jet plane And it's the, sorry and it's the auto harmonist that's doing it, detecting the chords. Okay, pardon the singing guys, and I think that's about it. It's so difficult to demo this one uh, because I'm not a singer. Um, but you get the gist of how to use it and the functions um, and the features of this pedal. Okay guys, that's it. Um, I struggled uh, with this uh, demo. But again, uh, thanks to Becca for lending me this um, gadget. It's Boss VE2 um, Vocal Harmonist. So there's plenty of um, functions with this one, so I might miss out a lot. Um, but the things that I sort of know, I did detail it to you guys, like the USB, uh, this one the USB going to your computer, the phantom power using this um, condenser microphone and etc etc. Uh, if you got questions guys just just leave in the comment section and then if uh, also you guys know more about this one feel free to, to um, put your comments and suggestion. Uh, we all learn from each other so please do. Um, leave a comment about this product and thanks for watching guys see you again bye